Life Stallions, what's up? Kina Barbie here, back with another video. Today's video is gonna be on the Gamma Plus Magnet Mat Station Organizing Systems. Had this in the shop for about a week and we are going to unbox this and go over it. And of course, I'm gonna let you guys know whether we're going to crown or trash this Magnet Mat. Now, before we get into the mat, you already know what to do. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Also, give the video a thumbs up if you like the content and follow me on my Instagram page, at Kimmy Lifestyle. So without further ado, let's get to that intro. Here it is guys, the Gamma Plus Magnet Mat. Now before we open up this box, of course, we are going to go over some of the details it says about this new mat. Starting off the top, you see Gamma Plus. On the right side, you'll see a picture of the mat and some clippers. Also, underneath the Gamma Plus, you're gonna see the actual mat. And then underneath that, you'll see the magnet mat. It's gonna say Station Organizing System. On the back of the mat here, you're gonna see five pictures here, giving you some more details about what this mat comes with and basically what it is. So let's read over the first description here. It says Secure Magnet Strip. Magnet strip secures holds four clippers or trimmers upright for space optimizing. Heat and water resistance, highest quality of PVC, won't warp or melt when exposed to heat. Mat is water resistance for easy cleaning. Magnet bar for magnet accessories. Metal bar secures magnet guards or other accessories in place for easy visibility or organizing. Anti-slip surface for anti-slip spaces to lay tools or other accessories. Bottom is also anti-slip and stays put on any hard surface. Then the last picture right here, it reads that it's a USB block, USB cable hub sold separately. Keep up to three charging cords organizing and tangle free. Also compatible and fits perfectly with the Tune 45 wireless charging expansion pad sold separately. And so those are gonna be all five description about this uh, Gamma mat here. Uh, on the right side, you're gonna see again, a picture of the mat and the clippers being held upright on the uh, magnet strip there. And that's gonna be pretty much it as far as everything on the box here. Let's get this thing open. So this is gonna be the magnet bar here that goes on the mat. So here it is guys, the Gamma Plus Magnet Mat. The mat has a little weight to it. So starting off from the mat, we'll start off with this little strip right here. This is gonna be for your guards or your clippers. You can hold your guards and clippers right there. On the left side is where you're gonna place your cable block, which we will open that up next. Also, you're gonna have four different spaces for your clippers or your trimmers. On the bottom here, you're gonna have two little magnet, little squares there where you can also place this magnetic bar on as well. So this will just stick right on there. So if you wanna place your uh, guards on this part as well, which you can. It's made longer so you're able to fit more guards on here. As you see that this bar is really secure, this magnet really does hold your clippers and trimmers. Even if you place it on there, this thing is not moving. Also on the bottom, you're gonna see the Gamma Plus and nothing really on the back here. So this is gonna be the cable block here, guys, that comes with the mat. Now this is actually sold separately. And also remember that you can use the Tomb 45 charging block as well if you wanna go with that option. So on the very top here is gonna say Gamma Plus, which is probably a little hard to see. And then you're gonna see the actual picture of the cable block here. It's gonna say Brotherhood Gamma Plus. And it looks like this is where you're gonna plug in the USB cords there. On the bottom here it says cable block. It says USB hub station with three charging ports. And you're gonna see that barber hood. So on the back of the box, you're gonna see four descriptions about the cable block here. So let's read over the first one, which is gonna be the top here. But it says simultaneously charge three devices from one power source. Great for stations with limited power outlet access. Cable block is ready to use when connected to a power source. The LED indicator turns on. Use with the magnet mat station organizer sold separately. Keep tools in place and charging cords tangle free. Include a six feet power cord. So that's gonna be pretty much all of the uh, details and information about the power block. Let's get this bad boy open. So here's gonna be the actual charging block. We're gonna open this up. 
So the charging block feels very similar to the pad here. On the very top here, you see the Brotherhood and see Gamma Plus. On the left side of the charging block, you're gonna see the three ports for your USB. And then on the top here, you're gonna see where you plug in your adapter. So we're going to set this inside here. Once you slide this block in, it's gonna line up with the USB ports. That's how you know you have it in correctly. So we'll put it in. And the last thing inside the box is gonna be the adapter. Now again, the adapter is gonna plug in at the very top here. So this cord is kind of long. So I just plugged the cord into my wall outlet here and I'm going to plug the top part of this mat here. And so once you plug it in, you're gonna see that red light. That's how you know that this is on. So I have these three USB cords from my other um, Stylecraft Gamma products and I am going to plug it in the station and see how this works. Starting off with the first one. So we'll plug in. All right, so now we have all three USB ports plugged in. Let's put it back inside the mat. So I have my clippers and trimmers. I'm going to plug it into the charging mat here. I'm going to plug it in the USB port. So you see that light is turned on, so you know that this is charging. So you can plug it in this way, or you can also plug it in that way. Next, we have the Stylecraft Instinct Clipper. So we're gonna plug this one in as well. And the plug here is gonna be on the back here. So you see this is lighting up, so that means it's charging. Next, I have my Evo by Gamma. So we're gonna plug this one up as well. So you can also see that one also is lighting up. So I have my last trimmer, which is gonna be the flex trimmer. And this USB block only has three ports. So what we do is we'll put the trimmer there. And then once this one is fully charged, then we can just switch it out. Let that one charge. And then we'll place that one there or vice versa. That way you always have your tools charging up. So on the bottom here, you see two little pieces where if you wanna just place two guards there, you can do that. Or if you wanna have the metal bar here, you can also just place your guards on top of this. And again, you have more space when you use the bar to place your guards on here. Now I'm not really placing these guards in any order. I'm just putting them on there just so you can see how the bar works. So this is gonna be the whole setup with the Gamma Plus charging mat with your guards and the magnetic bar, your charging block and your clippers and also your trimmers. So pricing for the Gamma Plus Magnet Mat is gonna run you around $100. And also the charging block is gonna run around $49. Again, they are both sold separately. Now for the pros and cons on the cable block and also the Gamma Plus charging mat. Let's start off with the pros first. We'll start off with the mat first. I do like the mat. It looks very good on your station. If you're like me and you wanna have your station organized and neat, Having that mat will definitely help you out with that because you can able to put your guards on there. And also before me having that mat, I was using a lot of these charging stands. And so now you're able to have three USB slots for your trimmers and then maybe have one or two of these on your station and then it will make a lot of room on your station, especially if you have a smaller station the mat will definitely help out with that. You wanna have things as neat as possible because you wanna be able to get to your, your clippers and your tools as easy as you can. So of course you wanna have something that's gonna help you to organize that. That is what I like about the mat. Now it's time for the pros for the charging block. I do like the charging block, how it fits in inside the mat. Very nice and sleek. Also, it charges up your clippers and your trimmers simultaneously, which is nice as well. And again, overall with the block and the mat, I don't think you can have one without the other. So if you are going to invest in the Magnet Mat, you're definitely gonna need that charging block as well. Now let's talk about the cons on the Magnet Mat and also the charging block. My first con would be on the mat would be the pricing for it. $100 is a little steep for the mat. I wish it was around 30, 40, maybe even $50 for the mat. I think that'd be a better price for this magnetic mat. 
And also another con on this will be more of a preference, but I wish it was a wireless charging mat. And if it was a wireless mat, then of course, a hundred bucks would definitely justify that price if it was wireless charging. Now let's talk about the cons on the charging block. I wish that the charging block had four USB ports instead of three. Reason why I say that is because the mat has four slots for you to put your clippers or your trimmers on those spaces. And then you have the charging block that only has three. So my con would be if it had four, that would be definitely better for that charging block. Other than that, it works fine. And that's pretty much it as far as my cons on the charging block, everything else I'm okay with. So the question guys, are we going to crown or trash the new magnet mat and also charging block by Gamma Plus? And today guys, we are going to crown the new magnet mat and charging block reason why i'm crowning it today guys even though it is a little bit steep in price it does work and it looks great on your station and if you are in the market for a organizing station for your station i will definitely look into getting one of these gamma mats and also the charging block as well and again you can change out that charging block and also put the tomb 45 block in there as well if you guys are interested in that uh, unfortunately i don't have one because i will show you guys how that will work and if you guys are interested in that, leave a comment, let me know, and I will pick up one of those 245 wireless charging blocks for you guys and show you how that works as well. And other than that, that's gonna be a wrap on today's video. Hope you enjoyed the content. Please give the video a thumbs up if you like the content. Also, let me know in the comment section if you're going to grab our pass on this new mat. And also, I wanna know what you guys think about this mat as well. And until then, I'll see you on the next video.